Warning, this content may be upsetting or disturbing to some audiences. Truckers of Reddit, what's the craziest, scariest, or most bizarre thing you have experienced on the road or at a truck stop? Not me but my dad. He was a career long haul driver. The thing he said was the worst he's ever seen was he was driving along some interstate when a minivan cut off the truck in front of him. Killed the entire family, blood and body parts scattered across the freeway. My dad had to physically restrain the other driver because after the shock set and he kept trying to run into traffic and kill himself. Driving up to college for the first time, my mom got tired and wanted to pull over for a nap at a truck stop. While she slept, I people watched. A huge truck pulled up, one of those tricked out, well lit and super shiny trailers, and a big, tattooed driver climbed out. It was a kitten. A tiny little white kitten. He played with that kitten on the truck stop benches for so long, happy as could be, giggling and smiling like I would have. It was the cutest juxtaposition I've ever seen. I've told this story before but I'll tell it again. My dad was driving down some interstate when it started raining really bad. He couldn't see more than a few feet in front of him so he pulled off somewhere and waited for the rain to pass. Finally the rain passes so he keeps going. A few miles up the road he comes upon a massive wreck. Apparently the dump truck had slammed right into the back of the sports car. There were four college kids in the car coming back from spring break. He goes to see if anyone's injured and it's a bloodbath. The two guys in the back died instantly, the driver died on the way to hospital. The guy in the passenger seat survived but he had to have both his legs amputated because they had been crushed by the dashboard. A state trooper shows up and sees the wreckage. He goes up to the truck driver and punches him in the face. None of the other drivers said anything. My dad has been a truck driver my whole life. The one that sticks out the most to me is when he saw someone in his company accidentally kill a lady. Or rather, the lady was killed by the guy's truck. A lot of people don't realize that trucks can't slow down like a car, they have to gear down because of how heavy they are. She was killed instantly and her family later tried to sue the company my dad worked for, which went nowhere. Also, when I was a kid, he was in a grain elevator explosion. My dad's truck was like the 10th in line, and the first couple of trucks were basically vaporized. It was a pretty scary day because we saw about it on the news before he was able to get a hold of us. He once had a panic attack because he saw a bunch of kids running away at the same moment a train whistle blew loudly. I used to work with an ex-trucker who once had a woman commit suicide by jumping in front of his truck. He hasn't driven since, and now spends him time working with troubled slash suicidal people. He was never quite the same after that happened. From your description it appears you saw a bull-eyed, aka a meteor. Dad's a trucker. Anyway one night my dad was driving about a mile behind a guy who knew. He got on his radio and told the guy to be careful around the curve, it was really sharp and had a blind bend. He got back a yeah alright. When he got to the curve the other guy's semi was in the ditch. He got to the straightaway, parked and rushed back to help the guy. When he got there the steering wheel was through the guy's chest. His organs were everywhere. A while ago some guy posted a story about a trucker who had a trained monkey with one of those mini wooden baseball bats that beat the SHD out of a pit bull. I've seen fist fights at the fuel islands. Over people not pulling up, a big deal for us drivers. Had an RV crawl up alongside me once in Indiana. I have a habit of looking over when folks get up alongside me to check and see if they are paying attention to the road or their phone or dozing off. Anyway, I glance over to see how old this couple in this RV may be. He looks over and smiles and as sure as God's got sandals the next second later a young naked woman is bent over the passenger side of the dash and is being, um, acted upon by another young naked woman with what appears to be a horse shaped and sized dildo. I was in deep south Texas coming out of Laredo. A Mexican truck, you can spot one easy when you know what to look for, starts coming up alongside me. He gets up next to me and no one is at the wheel. I backed way off and let them get on up ahead of me. Saw them, three of these ass clowns in one truck, later at the border check on 35 in cuffs. I was running on Kansas Highway 96 out of Great Bend early one morning. Dawn was just peeking over the horizon back to the east. I rounded the curve out of town heading west when I see Bambi and the gang crossing the road. Must have about 12 or more of them. They stop crossing but they all start running along on both side of the road in the direction I'm going. 
I get back on the throttle and just as I come up on the group, I see two of the deer on the north side deciding they now want to join the group on the south side. I saw one's face clear as day as my fender and door went past him. He didn't hit the front corner of my trailer or my drives, luckily. However, he did hit his head on the side of my trailer. It must have been enough to daze him as I watch him fall and get hit by my back hopper on the side. I was over gross weight so he didn't stand a chance. I pulled over about a mile up the road where it was wide enough to do so, two lane, and went to look over my trailer. I didn't see any marks on my trailer or hopper, nor anything much on the trailer tandems. RIP Retard Bambi Coming upon Big Butter Jesus at 3 AM, in the fog, startled me. Scariest was waking up getting thrown all over the sleeper. Co-driver got hit by a car going 80 miles per hour the wrong way down the interstate. I was on my father's boar's head truck about 12 years ago in Brooklyn, I was about 14 years old at the time. I opened the passenger door and there is a homeless man rummaging through the milk crate my dad kept his lunch and radio in. I didn't even hesitate, I gave the man my bologna and cheese sandwich. My mom called my dad a f in a hole that night and didn't want me working on his truck anymore. Needless to say I was there the next day. My squad leader told me about this one time when the truck in front got hit by a knight and due to the risk they had to leave them and reverse out of the area. An RPG hit them as they reversed, it didn't do much damage, so they continued. Everyone got out and one guy took the risk of getting all the trucks further down, so that only one guy got killed if the truck would fall down. Everyone calls him Cliffy now, and he received a medal but declined. Instead he asked it to be given to the wife of the guy who hit the ad. He didn't make it. My brother-in-law was a trucker for many years. He took his stepson, my sister's son, with him on one run. They were somewhere in the rural south and hit a power slash telephone line that was too low across the road. Neither of them were seriously hurt, my nephew just got a few minor scratches from flying glass. My dad drove long haul for years. One company he worked for had a yard right in the city. One night a homeless person tried to steal material from a stack in the yard and pulled the wrong piece. Stack came down and decapitated him. They found his headless body the next morning. Not a trucker, but on the highway going from Maine to Killington VT, I saw a large bird swoop down right in front of a semi-truck. When I didn't see the bird come out on the other side I was preparing to see feathers everywhere and a carcass to come bouncing out from under the trailer. Nothing. When police put up tarps alongside accidents all too often we can see over them. I wish they would use taller tarps. I always made sure not to look but every once in a while you would see lots of blood or a stretcher with a sheet drawn over a body. Once it was only a small lump. That seems a better plausible alternative. Every day was a countdown to a WTF moment. Pushy lot lizards, a few crooked cops, my dispatcher sending me to the wrong state or the constant flow of cars trying to kill you. Love the machines but FCK the job. I was in California, it was my second year trucking so it must have been 2004. The guy I was driving with was old school and was teaching me the ropes. About 2.30 am he wakes me up and says you've got to see this. There is a big commotion going on out in the lot and police are starting to show up. It reminds me of cockroaches or cats scattering like you see in the hoarder shows. What came next may have been the funniest thing I've ever seen. To watch the police chase these people around in circles then to see their face when they would bring their new catch to the holding van just to see the doors wide open and empty was hilarious. I'm not a trucker but I was listening to Z100 radio show and they were talking about a video of a guy who was caught masturbating to porn while driving and then a trucker called in and said that he's seen so many people doing that, men and women. I'm not a great storyteller. But the things I've seen, I'll try to share the most exciting, surprising, and meaningful experiences. Preface, trucking, it's routine. The same task, the same chair, the same wheel, the same job. But if you pay attention, it can be an adventure every day. Most exciting, let's see. Lots of fire. I've probably personally saved people loads and damages just from calling 911. The craziest was this one time I was almost home. The sun was just barely down and I saw a truck headed the other way with something bright. I'd never seen so many sparks, as if he was doing it on purpose. As he passed me I could see that the sparks were now a solid wall of fire, several hundred feet long and about three feet high. 
I called 911 that second and told them to hurry because that fire had a head start. Saw it three days later, they got there in time before it reached away from the highway. I've driven into storms that convince me I'm about to die. I've had to literally dodge other cars. Sometimes people make mistakes, or get enraged, or maybe take drugs, but I've had cars both unintentionally and intentionally try to hit me on the highway. You want an adrenaline rush, experience that. Can you imagine a 26,000 pound truck hitting a 3,000 pound car? I'm sure I've saved people's lives by keeping track of the big picture and dodging other cars in heavy traffic. Still scars me thinking about those times when I've been a fraction of a second from a national newsworthy wreck. Most surprising. One homeless man chasing another in a dead sprint. Once found a rolled car on the highway at 3 a.m., a few people were there standing around it, and I asked them what was going on and offered my help. They said they had no clue, they had just seen the car blocking one lane and pulled over. The worst part was that we didn't see anyone associated with the car. Never found out about that one. I occasionally pick up hitchhikers. Very interesting people. You want to have an interesting day? Find a hitchhiker. I usually do it when it's cold out, I can't stand the cold, and I've got enough room to pull over safely within a quarter mile of the guy. Some are on an adventure, like Jade. He said he was just traveling to experience life, man. We talked for two hours straight about life and about who we were and what we wanted. He said he was going to Mexico for some hippie commune where everyone's nude and you just do drugs and love on each other. I can't remember his name, but he was headed to Houston, Texas to pick up a disability check. He seemed pretty smart and hardworking. He was trying to help me with stuff our whole trip. But some of these guys, as you've heard, are crazy degree in psychology, and I started to fear for my life. This guy told me I wouldn't believe him. But he was the leader of a secret Aryan group that has 20 leaders that all ESP to each other like telepathy. Sometimes it's the small stuff that you remember the most, like when a beautiful song comes on while you're driving into the most beautiful sunset you've seen in weeks. Or when you see a board on the road and you line up your tire to run over the edge of it and successfully flick it 15 feet off the road. On the 10 inches monitor in the suburban next to me for a few minutes. But I do have a few more notable memories. I've driven in hilly country a couple times where I get to see beautiful fog. It builds up in the valleys and it's like a dream. The fog, much more than the storms can be actual walls. I've had a guy on a motorcycle next to me practicing his wheelie for two minutes. Talk about nerve-wracking. Really cool to watch though. Perhaps the most memorable experience I had was joining a caravan that was speeding for like an hour. If you've never done this, you always join up at the back and watch for the trade time. Usually around 10 to 15 miles. Everyone takes an even time of leading, and everyone is less likely to get pulled over. I'm sure there's more, but I've said too much. There's really just too much to tell. If you've read this whole thing then you might consider trying for your CDL. There are loads of driving's jobs, even right now. It really just takes responsibility and concentration. Thanks for reading. Broker here, with a light-hearted story. We had a driver who delivered a truckload of cookies for us. When he got to delivery the receiver called us and said everything was fine except the driver ate like five cases, not boxes, cases of the cookies. I work in sales and deal with different shops that service class 8 trucks, and a couple of weeks ago one of my customers got a call from a trucking company they service, asking if they could tow in a truck to keep on their lot while they found a company willing to handle the mess inside. This was a sleeper truck, one that the driver sleeps in, so it's possible that he was dead for a quite some time before he was found, since you couldn't see into the back area of the cab. After getting towed in, the truck sat in the service department for about a week with the windows all covered. My BF is a trucker and he was on the highway somewhere in the northeast with a few other guys and this man in a sedan was making eyes at them and then proceeded to take out a dildo and curve it along the steering wheel and just held it there while he drove. If you made it to the end of the video, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share and we will see you in the next video.